Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. That's what I tell them. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it, how to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe, success, what does it mean, if I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream, dig deep, go out and get it, success chronicles, compete until it's finished, success chronicles, go take care of your business, success chronicles, it's deeper than just winning, success Hey, what's up everybody, this is uh, Chip Baker, I'm here with Coach Fagans, Coach Howard Fagans. We're here at the AFCA Coaches Convention and um, got a chance to connect with Coach and I'm truly grateful to see him in person. Well, it's uh, great to meet you. Yes, sir. Great guy doing great things. But you know, just tell the audience a little bit about who you are and, and what it is you do, Coach. Well, again, I, I'm doing that football coaching thing. Uh, again, I'm Howard Fagans. I'm born and raised small town guy. Um, grew up in Virginia. And I, I knew in the fifth grade that my calling was uh, teaching. Yeah. And through uh, coaching, I got started with this uh, coaching profession, been doing it for over 23 years uh, at all levels. And um, so I've been blessed, I'm married uh, with two kids, uh, Kevin in Virginia Beach and my son Jensen here in Denver. Um, outside of that, I, I love coaching. My passion is to help uh, a young men to grow, to become men and, and make society better. That's awesome, Coach. And you, you were a pretty decent player too, right? <laughs> Talk a little I, bit about your talk a little bit about your career. Like how did it uh, like where did you grow up and went to college and, and played in the league? Like well, talk to us a little bit know, about that. When, when you define um, pretty decent, I play defensive back. I'm not Deion Sanders. Okay, let's <laughs> let's clarify that. But no, I'm a small town guy. I went to the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill. That's awesome. Uh, was a four year letterman there. Uh, unfortunately, I got hurt my senior season, which caused me draft opportunities. I uh, was able to sign a free agent with the New England Patriots. I uh, was up there for two years. Uh, from there, I went as a free agent to a New York Giants, tried to get paid a little bit, but Bill Parcell cut me. Mm. Uh, the same year they won the Super Bowl, but uh, I was fortunate and blessed to have played on uh, Monday Night Football. I uh, had an interception, which was great, and that interception was against uh, Frank Wright, mm. who was now the head coach at the uh, Indianapolis Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should go present him the ball. <laughs> uh, but from there, I ended up playing the World League. I uh, started back in 91, uh, played with the London Monarchs, and got lucky to, uh, we went 10-1, I believe, and win uh, the first World Bowl. Eventually, the league became NFL Europe. So it was a great opportunity to travel the world uh, through football. Yeah, that's awesome, Coach. And then currently now, uh, coaching, been coaching for a while, uh, doing some podcast stuff, interviews. <laughs> uh, so tell us a little bit about that. Like okay. Uh, just quickly on my, co my coaching thing, just sort of, I coached my first two years was in North Carolina versus at Wingate University. I went on to coach at Miami, Ohio in the uh, Mid-American Conference. Uh, and then from there, we left to go to Northwestern University in the Big Ten. The unfortunate thing is Ben Roethlisberger came into Miami, Ohio after we left. And of course, he beat us. And just the other night, um, when they played that home game, they showed a highlight against, you know, Miami, Ohio beat Northwestern. But from there, I went as an Eastern Michigan uh, offensive coordinator, six years of historical black college coaching, and um, took three years off to go watch my son play college football, got back into coaching in Colorado State University in Pueblo. But what has happened with, when he talked about the podcast, things of that, that I've done, is after the George Floyd killing, I uh, took it upon myself to say, you know what, I need to do more as a, as a college coach versus talking football with student athletes, even though you recruited the inner city of uh, Detroit, the south side of Chicago, as you yeah. guys know, a, a tough, hard area for young men. Uh, but with those um, Zooms that I have, it's basically race issues in America. And so what I try to do is, 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 is to educate uh, coaches from the Pop Warner level all the way to the NFL level. So I create panel guests to talk about social issues. One of the issues that I had Zoom was uh, on white privileges. And uh, that was a great, great, um, Two hours, uh, one of the white coaches that were on uh, was out of Raleigh, North Carolina. And I asked him, what, do you, what was your thoughts? He's like, it's one of the best things that I've been educated about race issues in America, but at the same time, about what white privilege really is. And some people don't understand, they take it to the negative, but it's educating yourself about it. Uh, two, I had one on stereotype. Uh, Dr. Uh, Renford Reese, uh, who actually, the, the, uh, uh, he was the mentor after Rodney King's beating. 
Mm. And uh, he did a thing for our entire university, for volleyball, soccer, the coaches, the players, were all our university, 300 of us, talking about stereotype in America. Just because you see a young black man with a hoodie on, uh, that doesn't mean he's a, a gangster. Right. And so it was very interactive with that. Uh, one of the other Zooms, because I knew there was a huge division in this country that was going on uh, before uh, President Trump, um, uh, at the end of his, his call, uh, was on, um, on uh, reform races. So I was watching videos at night and on YouTube about division, things that happened in our history. And I came across a young man by the name of uh, uh, Scott Shepard. Scott Shepard's a former Grand Dragon of the Ku Klux Klan. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was on our panel. Then I had a, a former neo-Nazi on our plan. Wow. And the fun part about that, throughout my process of telling about joining my Zoom, I said, hey, me, with my lack of education, I was like, I thought uh, neo-Nazi only hated Jews. He said, no, we hated blacks also. So that guy was on there, and I tried to get Daryl Moore, who's a black guy that was in the Ku Klux Klan, that, and they thought he was in the Ku Klux Klan, uh, that they made a movie out, and he wasn't able to, to get on. That was such a positive educational thing for me, and not only that, the staff that was on there for all the coaches and things of that nature, that was great. And then uh, I just had one in August about why not us? Yeah. Why not us talked about um, why we're not getting head coaching jobs. And so I had a panel guest to talk about that. We went to the point where we're saying that uh, is the NFL is still a monopoly? Why mm -hmm. that you can't buy in? Because when this NFL was created, it was created for a certain group of people. And so who can buy into it? Most of the time it's, it's handed down to the grandson. So that was a huge topic, we won't get into that. And I just had one before we came here with 150 coaches uh, wow. about the education of just being here at the uh, AFCA convention. You know, what you should do before the convention, what you should do during the convention, yeah. and what you should do after to try to get a job and to market yourself. And one of the guys that were on the, um, the Zoom uh, asked a question, what should you wear? I've never been to the convention. So it was very insightful and, and, and to have coaches on the panel like Tyrone Willingham, mm -hmm. former coach at Notre Dame, watching Seattle, Paul Winters, who's still yeah. with um, yep. Yep. Uh, Wayne State, uh, uh, Vic Malone, uh, assistant head coach at, um, at uh, Kansas State, mm -hmm. who's big in the FCA here today. David Walker, coached 10 years in the NFL, uh, was doing. So it was a very educational, insightful thing for them. So uh, I know I'm going to have another one soon. Don't know what it is yet, but um, it will be something to help minority coaches yes, sir. Uh, grow in this profession. Well, Coach, thank you so much for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles. Truly appreciate what you do, and I wish you continued success. I thank you so much, and I'm thankful that I can do this. I really am. Yes, I sir. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right. We'll, we'll see you next time. God bless. Go get it.